The Growth Investment Network is where entrepreneurs and growing businesses can come together and find the experts. We're here at Silverstone where the guests are doing exactly that. We do a series of these throughout the year. Typically we'll have um, talks from successful entrepreneurs, people who've built businesses, raised finance, gone on to sell them, made themselves rich through doing so. Um, and also people who are investing in businesses now. Um, and the idea really is a lot of the events are aimed at, as I said earlier, business owners and entrepreneurs with a view to giving them a much better idea of how you go about raising finance, how, you, how it's going to impact on your business, how you're going to grow your business as a result of it. Um, and hopefully the speakers and the, and the networking helps to facilitate that for the business owners and also the investors. Well, I've come here actually looking for the potential of a business angel, so I'm sort of looking to go down that route so that we can grow our business and, and get our product in front of more children. Well, I wanted to meet the entrepreneurs from the local community and other professionals. Um, it's a difficult climate, so you need to get out and meet people, um, raise the profile of the firm and find out what other people are doing in the business community at the moment. And we're here really to sort of network with them and network with, with the entrepreneurs as well, to start if there's other people that we can help. This is a fantastic opportunity to come and network and find out what's happening in the region. And, you know, the calibre is really high. There's some very sort of um, important, influential investors, um, successful entrepreneurs. Um, sort of my fellow speakers um, have very interesting backgrounds. Uh, so it's really interesting actually meeting some of those people tonight. I find it very informative, um, good people to speak to, and it's quite inspiring as well make sure that they are well prepared and have all the information and all the facts uh, so that they, uh, their plans will be uh, very robust. Conserve your cash, talk to us early, don't get desperate before you talk to us, talk to us very early in the process. Because one door closes you've got to open more yourselves. In entrepreneurship there's no such thing as recession. Persevere, those that persevere longest are the most successful. Do a bit more planning and be careful about your thinking and uh, but not be afraid you know I think they've got to go for it and there is opportunities out there. There are opportunities but I'd seek out advisors like this sooner rather than later. Just hang in there. I think it's to explore all the avenues that are available to them if the banks are being difficult then it may be there's money that can be raised through business angels or venture capital sources. Investors back the team not the idea. The idea can be okay as long as the team's great. People just need to get off their ass and, and do something. So there are two businesses these days, it seems. One is getting an investment done and the other one is running the actual business. For me, it was the, the access to the finance and what the venture capital um, organisations will be looking for so that I can now be in a better position to advise my clients the likelihood of, of, of uh, funds being made available to them and what the venture capitalists will be looking for. I've learned a little bit about there is government money uh, available on a matching scheme so I didn't really know that before and really it's the contacts here so slowly hopefully we pick up three contacts learn a little bit more about what what funds are available out there and it's another step to go forward. How really just a, a, a random idea can really turn into making somebody quite a fortune really. I found Alex Stu very informative and hearing his early early start from the age of seven is you know, crazy ideas and stuff um, and how, how many ideas he's had that hasn't worked and uh, the, the, one, the few crazy ideas that do work. You know, I find, I'm yet to find my crazy idea that kicks off yet, but um, no, we're on the way. To me, it's more about the personalities and the people, um, whether it's um, Mr. Jew or whether it's the other guys on how they think, what they look for, and, and really sort of aligning your thoughts with them and understanding the challenges they go through, really. And I, I sort of made my mind up there and then at the age of 14 that I was going to have a career in, in doing things online, primarily, or at least learn how to build websites. And that was my sort of first step. Alex is a good example of somebody who was at an age where he didn't know what he was going to do and uh, came to us for some funding and now he's running a million, million pound business. I have to admit, before I knew anything about him, I thought the million dollar homepage might have been just a one-off, but obviously the guy is truly entrepreneurial. He's been coming up with ideas since he was eight years of age, continues to do so now and, and deserves his success. So we've heard from Alex Chu, the million dollar homepage kids, and he says that part of growing an idea is about inspiring people and capturing imagination. This is Hermione Way at the Growth Investment Network at Silverstone.